Well, Erica Cruz, not just concerned about the potential for icy roads, but for the potential of flooding. The Department of Public Works has been digging out storm drains just like this one from underneath the snow, but say many still need work. And as crews here get ready, people are preparing to. Get the little sand in my uh, pail and uh, bring it home and uh, start spreading it around. Shovel in hand, Richard Anderson is getting ready. He knows ice could be a problem. It could be pretty bad. Yeah, it could be pretty, pretty bad. Yeah. Inside Fitchburg's Department of Public Works, chains are on tires and trucks are ready to go. The school department already canceling classes. We have sand. We're going to hopefully get some more of that soon. It's really just the ice melter, you know, the, the bread and butter. Usually it's the bread and milk flying off the shelves, but inside Obishan Hardware. I think pretty much what everybody else is in search for, ice melt, rock salt. Salt is tough to come by. A supply chain issue has kept their stock sold out. It's been a while, I want to say almost five days five days now, maybe six days. And if you're lucky enough to score a bag, here's some advice from the pros. Don't put it down for snow. Shovel your snow. Yes, it will melt the snow, but not efficiently. And it's just shovel. I see too many people put it down just for snow with no ice. Save it because now you'll have some for later. As we get ready for another winter storm, many know this is how it is. Just another day in New England, used to it. Wait, see what happens and react accordingly. Now, the Department of Public Works here says its supplies of sand and salt have been restocked. The trucks have been refueled and checked out, saying they are ready to go for whatever this storm will bring. Live in Fitchburg, Emily Maha, WCVB News Center 5.